welcome to another House of Wisdom Knife Review video, and today we have a special treat. I just got back from Blade Show 2018, and there, there were only 20 iterations of this knife being given out. It's the Koenig Mini Goblin. I'm going to let you see a picture of it up close, the blade and the handle. Ooh, and look at that black backspacer, blue anodized. Well, the uh, Koenig Knives is owned by Bill Koenig and based out of Boise, Idaho. His recent knife, the Mini Goblin, is a collaboration with Edison Barajas of Sharko Knives. It's based out of Florida. Here is a picture of Edison and his brother Victor Barajas. Sharko Knives made the original Goblin, which was larger, with a 3.75-inch blade. The Mini Goblin is much smaller with only a 3-inch blade. We'll talk about the specifications. The specifications on the blade are simple. It's a 347 knife, a blade length of 3 inch, a handle length of 4 inch, giving a total knife length of 7 inches. There are many knives in this category. Here is a Kershaw, a Leek, a Hinder XM18 Small, and a Browse Bionic, all of which are 347 knives. The blade of the Mini Goblin is made of M390 steel. It has a drop point configuration and a Warncliffe grind. It has a hollow grind leading up to the Warncliffe edge. And you can appreciate it has a needle-like tip. Boy, you could really dig a splinter out with that. The spine is neither crowned nor chamfered, but it has jimping on it for purchase with your thumb. The method of deployment of the knife is by flipper tab, and this flipper tab is very nicely done. It seems to be just an extension of the handle, and it's placed at about 45 to 60 degrees, which for me is the perfect angle for a great deployment. The handle is made of titanium. There is internal milling and pocketing. I'll see if I can just ex uh, show you that the internal milling inside the handle, which makes it lighter. It's milled both on the clip side and on the show side. The construction of the knife includes a back spacer that is blue anodized, has some jimping on the back. In my opinion, the jimping is more aesthetic than functional. Whenever you get a reverse grip, your thumb really falls on the heel of the knife instead of the jimping of the knife. That's a little awkward for the grip. It's held by six screws, three screws which are anodized on both sides of the knife. The stop mechanism is by an external stop pin and the receptacles both in the open position, here is the receptacle, are curved so that it maximizes the surface area and gives a nice solid lockup. Also in the closed position you can tell there's a curved receptacle also. Not all knife makers do this. I want to give you an example, not that I'm trashing any other knives, but this is a Southern Gride Spider Monkey, and where the blade hits the stop pin, the blade tang hits the stop pin, it's pretty much flat, and that's okay, but it is better and you expose more surface tension, and it's a nice little rounded cup that just fits perfectly and locks up nicely on the stop pin, both in the open and in the closed position. The pivot of the knife runs on ceramic bearings. The show side of the knife is not anodized. The clip side is anodized. I assume that's because the show side must be a, a steel fitting. The lock on the knife is a frame-like, and it has a lock bar insert with over-travel stop, just like a knife ought to. The clip on the knife is a 3D milled titanium clip with hidden screws. You can see on the inside here is the screw. There we go. So it's nice and clean and well machined with good retention. The ergonomics of the knife are great. There's a nice smooth area to put your fingers and a four inch handle is plenty of room to get all your fingers on a knife handle. The action is the star of this show. It has one of the smoothest action of any knife in my collection, so it joins an elite group of Shirogorov, Grimsmoes, and Thorburns. The signage on the knife is minimal. On the show side, you have the Koenig maker mark, which is just the name Koenig written out, not very fancy. 
And then on the clip side, you have the Sharp Knife Co. Maker Mark, which is a shark, which is pretty fun. The value on this knife is $550, which is half of the price you would pay for a Shirogorov, a Grimsmo, or a Thorberg. So what are my impressions about the Koenig Mini Goblin? I not only like it, I love it. Are there opportunities for improvement? For me, no. There are some people that won't appreciate this aesthetic. To some people, this will be too geometric, too modernistic, too pointy, too stabby. But there are other people that like a Warncliffe blade that are going to absolutely love this knife. What do I like about it? Well, in a word, the action. I'm just going to show you this action. It is completely smooth and drop shut. And that's what I really like in a knife. So it, it, it joins that elite group that I mentioned before, the Shirogoff, Grimm's, Mo Thornsburn group, as far as the quality of the action and at a much lower price point. And it uses quality materials. They didn't skimp on anything. It's a full titanium handle. They use M390 blade steel, which is an excellent blade steel. The fit and finish are just perfect in every way. So, if you're looking for a full titanium knife, which is a small knife and a Warncliffe-based knife with a world-class action, the Koenig Mini Goblin might be the knife for you. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next House of Wisdom knife review video. Mm -hmm.